Welcome back to Let's Play The Assignment. The DLC chapter for The Evil Within. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'm about to get chased by some traumas. Those horrible fuckers are referred to as, uh, hookmen in the main campaign. Oh, I am not looking forward to this. They were enough of a problem when I could defend myself. Honestly, the only uh, silver lining I can think of is that I'm pretty sure they can't use the long-range uh, chain whip attack that always caught me off guard until I damage them enough that they get pissed off and expose their weak point. I don't like this. Oh, god damn it. Really? Nope. We're just gonna stay in this room for the rest of time. Shout out to, uh, Louise Isaac. Louis Isaac? Who, uh, left a really, no really long, really nice comment on, uh, The Assignment Episode 6. Possibly the longest I've ever received, honestly. In which he, uh... Gave some theories about the game, uh... And complimented my Let's Play style across a variety of, uh... the games I've played. Oh god. Fine! Fine! And there goes the HUD, which means... Okay, I forgot about that. Or I didn't know about that. Also, shout out to Arizoko, who had an interesting theory about, uh, uh, Dr. Jimenez thinking that Ruvik was dead, even though he was the one who, uh, put his still-living brain into the machine, suggested the possibility that, uh, they only needed Ruvik's brain to initialize the STEM system. That they, uh, eventually took it out and didn't realize that Ruvik's consciousness had survived inside the, uh, system. You know, did point out that, uh, when Sebastian smashed Ruvik's brain at the end, it was, uh, still inside the system, so it might just have been a metaphor. Alright, how am I supposed to do this? Like this, I guess. While he's way over there and while I'm crouching and he can't hear me. Please go back out the door, please. It'll be great. You'll love it. Can 
I close the door? No. I don't know they can't climb up. They might be able to climb down, so let's just get the fuck out of here. Need to find two more of those stupid fuses. Oh, hey. I believe I mentioned at uh, some point. that, uh... Ooh. Oh, the camera went under the water. Hmm, no good. That's exactly the same trick from earlier, I don't know. I'm going to throw this out there. I'm going to guess that this is rotated somehow. Alright. Screenshot. But I'm going to give it a shot. Same joke. I mean, I mean, bit. I don't know why I said joke. I mean, I guess it is the DLC. Fine. I don't think there's anything else in this room, though, is the problem. It's really weird to be... I have no need for looking around for stuff in this DLC. I mean, in the main game, I'm looking for collectibles and ammo and gel and all this stuff. This one, it's just collectibles. That's it. The occasional bottle. If I have one now, I do. Okay, where the fuck am I meant to go? The... The area where the trauma was a dead end, I waited all the way to the end. So I guess I just go back this way. Maybe something will happen when I put the fuse in. Okay. Well, there must be some part of this I haven't uh, done then. No, no bridge is going to appear there. Yeah, that's where I came out with the uh, the trauma. Well, I believe I mentioned at one point that, uh... I was either going to play this, you know, the evil within, or, uh... Okay, I don't got there. Alright, that one kind of got me, but only because I didn't know the body was there. Wait. Yeah, okay. Health's good. I 
is that? It's just miscellaneous trash. Okay. It was either going to be this or uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. And, uh... I ultimately picked the Evil Within because it looked scarier. But, uh, as it turns out, that was, uh... I see some red on the wall there? No. As it turns out, that's probably for the best in a serendipitous kind of way. see a reason to. There's no ladder or anything. Are you a door? No. Maybe if I imagine really hard that I'm up there. Nothing. Okay. There's no door over here. Here, except past that, which I cannot get to. Uh, I mean, that's kind of got to be it, but I don't see how to make it work. Maybe if I could find a way to flood the area, I could swim across. go. I was starting to say yes. Yes. It's uh, really for the best that I uh, ended up picking this and not uh, Revelations 2. See, I had previously uh, played through RE5 uh, in co-op with my good friend Ronan Drake. And we both had a great time. And we were planning to, uh, you know, renew this partnership for Resident Evil 6. But, uh... See any trip wires? I'll just avoid stepping on that. Is it like one of those areas in the village? Is there a, a lever on the other side? No. They're pretty hard to miss. Let's just paint it on. There's the prize. Weird. I can only assume something horrible is going to burst out of there when I come out the door. There's another... No, no, it's just a regular door. It was, a. Uh... That's right, it was the Beacon logo, and it was, uh, a save room. But before RE6, there is, of course, Resident Evil Revelations 2, since I'm doing them in chronological order. Um, I'm trying to do this before I go out there and grab the thing so I can finish this thought coherently. Uh... Except that uh, Revelations 2's co-op mode is uh, one of those asymmetrical style things, so that uh, the focus is more on player one 
which means that they didn't bother making it online enabled. You can play Res uh, Revelations 2 in co-op, but only in local mode, so I was going to have to uh, play through that by myself. Except that uh, while I was playing The Evil Within, uh, Steam rolled out a new feature called Remote Play, which lets you basically play a, a local co-op game online. It's like sorcery. I'm wondering if there's going to be a snail in those boxes or anything. No, they're just there. And there's nothing in them because you don't need ammo in this uh, DLC. Or you don't get ammo, I should say. So, you know, this is really neat because the fact that I didn't pick uh, Revelations 2 for the Halloween game of 2019 means that when I do eventually play it, I'll be able to have uh, Ronan Drake join me. And that's awesome. I mean, you know, knock on wood, I have no idea how well the uh, remote play works or not. Apparently, uh... Player 2 is essentially live-streaming the feed from Player 1's uh, computer. So, uh... I understand there can be connection issues, and, uh... I heard sometimes uh, Player 2 sees the visual quality degrade. Like, if there's a, a connection issue, you might see your screen suddenly look like you're playing a 480p video. But it's still a really neat prospect that I'd like to uh, give a shot to. Now instead, of, I guess I finished rambling, so here we go! Ruvik. Oh, God. Damn it, he went around. Uh, shit. Oh, God. No, I didn't blind him or anything. Damn it, you were supposed to run straight at me. Really? Okay. Couldn't exactly hide in the locker while he was standing there looking at me, but he did seem to lose me about halfway through that, which was really confusing. How do I get, make that work? Just the once, huh? Oh, it's a goddamn light. Ah, oh, hell. Lax. Oh, 
hell. Ah! Wow, that room sucks. Uh, before I try my breakneck run through there again. There's the timer, so uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play the Assignment. When I, uh, try to get that door without being torn apart by the haunted. Later.